What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video if this is your first time here. My name is David and along with my four-legged fur kids Rupert and May, we are part-time RVers learning the RV lifestyle one campground at a time. In today's video, it is the final project that we are doing to this camper before we hit the road next week for a six week adventure. We are putting together a three stage DIY water filter. Here are all the parts that I have for this. Links will be in the description below. I purchased all of this with my own money. Nothing is sponsored. And before we start, I wanna make one thing clear. I am not a water quality expert. I am not a drinking water expert, nor am I a water filter expert. I am a water snob. I am very picky about the taste of my drinking water and I normally only drink water during the day and then some adult beverages at night. I was using those blue inline water filters that you see everybody using and that was just didn't work all that well. Every time I would drink the water out of the faucet or make coffee or anything like that the water tasted like for anybody who's old enough to remember what drinking out of a garden hose tasted like, that kind of rubber taste, that's exactly what it tasted like here. Now, I don't know if that's because of the hose that I have, even though it does say it is drinking water safe, or the water lines in the camper, I have no idea. I'm hoping that putting together this water filter will help clear up some of the taste. I'm not gonna be doing any testing, with you know, sending water off to a lab or anything like that. I don't have time, number one. Number two, it's expensive. Maybe in a future video, if I like it, maybe we'll actually send some off to a lab and see if the water is any better. We are gonna do some testing with water flow with approximately how many gallons of water before and after we put the filters in to see if that's impacted at all. I did get a uh, water flow meter here, so we will put everything together, we'll test the flow without any of the filters in it, and then we'll put the filters in, test it again, and see how it turns out. That's the only testing that we're gonna be doing. And a taste test. I'll taste it to see if it tastes any better. What did we get? I showed you this already is the flow meter. So that we'll use for testing purposes. This is just a four foot section of drinking water hose that's gonna come out from the end of the filter and then connect into the camper. Three filter housings, they are see-through. I kind of like that, that's why I got them. We have some connectors that will go in between the filters here. We have the end piece that connects to the out and then um, the garden hose into here, which will then go into the camper. Same thing on the other side for the incoming water. You'll see in a minute. These are the three water filters that I went with. This is a 20 micron water filter. This will be stage one. This is going to remove sediments, uh, large par particles, rust, sand, things like that. Then we go to a five micron filter and then we go down to a one micron carbon filter. This hopefully will be the one that will improve the taste of it all. Again, I am not a water quality expert, so if you want to know about microns and how big the things are that will filter out, there's tons of YouTube videos out there for that. I will leave information like that to the experts. This is our source in, so this will be coming from, say, for example, the campground. It's going to go into here. It's going to go through the 20 micron filter first and then come out here, go into this one. Then it's gonna go into the five micron filter, come out of there, go into there, and then go through the one micron charcoal filter out here and then to the camper. We're gonna use these brass fittings here to put these together. So there's gonna be one there and one there with some Teflon tape. And there we go. Everything is Teflon taped. These ones are the ones where the hose goes on the end, so no tape on that just for where they actually go into the filters. So the first one I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the hose end in. We're going into the uh, inside. I'm just going to hand tighten them for right now. And then the other one will go into the out 
for connecting into the camper. Again, I'm just hand tightening. And now these guys have got to go in here to connect them together. Again, I'm just hand tightening for right now. But now I'm gonna take these pliers here and then we're gonna tighten them down. Not too hard. You know, this is brass and this is plastic, so I don't wanna break anything. Beautiful. So we got in and out done. So before I connect them together, I'm going to do the same thing here with, with these guys and get them pretty snugged up here. So before I connect anything, I want to make sure that we're in the correct order. So we have hose connection in, going out, in, going out, in out with the hose connection so now we just got to join this one and this one and i think i'm just going to do this voila we are connected so i gotta get that paper out of there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside we're gonna hook up the hose we're gonna put this guy here at the end can't do it with one hand but we're going to put that on the end and we're going to first test it without anything in it then we're going to put the filters in and see what kind of flow we get and then i'm going to taste it afternoon it is the next day actually i had to stop filming yesterday because i was trying to get my grass cut before i left since i'm not going to be here for almost two months and my Ryobi electric zero turn mower decided that it didn't want to start. One of the four batteries was bad. So I had to take that all apart and go find a battery today. And $260 later, I was able to get the grass cut. But anyway, let's finish with the DIY water filter. I did forget to show you guys this yesterday. This is just an adapter because these are, this is threaded on this side and the hose is threaded. So I had to get an adapter. Um, I just forgot to show you that yesterday. So anybody who caught that in the video, great job. At the end is our meter. What we're gonna do, it, they're all empty right now. There's no filters in them. I'm gonna turn it on, let it fill up. We're gonna set that to zero. I do have a timer. We're gonna run it for 15 seconds and see what the water flow is with no filters in them. Now this is the hose that I use when I'm camping and I do have my water pressure regulator on here. So it's just like we're set up at the campsite. First we're just going to turn it on and let it fill up. And I see some leaks already. Didn't have those on there tight enough, but I got that fixed now. Water's coming out. I'm just gonna let that flush a little bit. I'm actually gonna go get a glass and we're gonna taste that. Ugh. Tastes like rubber. Nope. So I guess that answers my question. Was it the hose that was making the water taste bad? And it appears so. Hopefully when we get the filters in, that will alleviate that problem. 
The counter has been zeroed out. I do have a timer that I'm going to do for 15 seconds. I have to walk over there to turn the water on. So I'm going to turn it on and hit the timer. 15 seconds. Five seconds, six, seven, ten. So one point one gallons for fifteen seconds. So that would be about four point four gallons per minute, no filter. Now let's go ahead and put the filters in and see what we get. All right, filter one is the 20 micron string wound filter. And these filters are good for, I think it said three to six months, depending on use. So hopefully we will uh, get at least six months out of them. Next filter is the five micron. I haven't decided if I'm gonna mount these things inside the, uh, you know, the front bay or put some sort of like handle and leave them outside. I haven't figured that out part, part out yet. And the last one is the one micron charcoal. I do have to rinse these guys. The directions say to rinse them. So I'm going to just turn it on and let them rinse for a few minutes before we do the second test. All right, we ran about five gallons of water through it. So now I'm gonna repeat the flow test and the taste test. But we'll do the flow test first. Let me get my timer ready. Got my stopwatch at zero. That's been zeroed out. Let me go turn it on. All right, we are running. Three seconds, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. So it's exactly the same. That's good that it was the same amount. What did I say? 4.4, 4.5 gallons a minute. I think that's pretty good. Now, maybe as the filters get clogged up with stuff, it might go down. Probably. So now, let me get my glass and let's do a taste test. Oh, I really hope this works. Let me turn it off real quick. Looks good. Oh yeah. Other than being warm, it tastes just like my filtered water that I have in my house. I don't taste any of that rubber, no chlorine. I don't smell any chlorine. I'm gonna call that a success, just in taste alone. So there we have it. There is our DIY three-stage water filter. 20 micron, 5 micron, 1 micron, with charcoal being at the end here. I'm super happy that I did this. I've been wanting something because I carry way too much water with me every time we travel. So now I can use the park water. I think that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys like this video or found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you go ahead and boop that like button below. It does help the channel grow. If you would like to be a member of the Travel Paws RV Pack, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come on along to our adventures. We would love to have you guys with us. And this video was the last project video that we were doing to the camper before we head out. On our next video, it's gonna be a travel day from Tampa all the way up to Red Top Mountain State Park in Georgia. The family will all be coming down to Red Top Mountain State Park and for those who have seen my brother before, he will be making a special guest appearance because he'll be coming down as well. 
After Redtop Mountain State Park, we will be heading about 90 miles north up to the Blue Ridge Blairsville area. We're gonna be up there for a month. Got a lot of exciting things that we're gonna check out while we are up there. And until travel day, I will see you guys next time. Safe travels.